Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking patterned effect using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we're in Illustrator. We just need to create a new document. 200 by 200 pixels will be fine. And then just go to create. So the first thing that we need to do is I need to get to my rectangle tool. I'm gonna to make sure that it has no fill and then I'm just going to set the stroke to three. So I'm just gonna hold uh, shift to draw a perfect square. And then I'm gonna come over here, grab my direct selection tool, hold shift for both ends. And then I'm just going to bring them a bit closer together, just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hold shift and rotate it around just so it's like that. And then what we need to do is we need to get the ellipse tool and I'm just gonna throw that in the middle there somewhere. So if you wanna check if they're aligned, highlight both those shapes, go into your properties and then here you can see your horizontal align tools and there you go. So now we're gonna work on the fins. So to do the fins, again, a rectangle tool, just draw a little square, again, direct selection tool, click on that one point and I'm just going to put it something like that. And then I'm just gonna move it right into the center, just like that. Then I'm gonna press Control C to copy it. Go to edit, paste in place. And then I'm gonna right click, go to transform, reflect, vertical, press OK. And now if I move that over, you will see that now I've got that cool looking fin on both sides. So now once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to highlight it all, come to the shape builder tool, hold alt, you can get rid of that section there. And then all of this section in here, you want to join up together. And so now all you need to do again is highlight all of it, go to your stroke settings and make sure that you click align stroke to center. And so now that will give you a nice base rocket. So the final thing that we need to do is we need, just need to create the exhaust flame. So to do that, it's quite easy. All we need to do is grab the pen tool, create a point, hold shift, create another point, and then keep holding shift. And now you will get that nice little arc. And then all you have to do is just join it back to the top, just like that. And now you can play around with some of these uh, settings. So you can make it a little bit longer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rotate that around. And then obviously I need to make it smaller. So I'm just going to bring it in just like that. So once you're happy with your rocket, what you need to do is you need to save it and save it as Adobe Illustrator file. So once you've saved your Illustrator file, all you need to do is just come over here to After Effects and you just need to import your composition. So once you import your composition, just make sure you're importing it as a composition and you wanna keep it as the layer size. So now if you double click that, you will see that it's just a black uh, rectangle. But if you come over here and if you add a fill effect to that, and let's say we keep it as red for now, you can see that there's the rocket. So once you've done that, now we need to do the animation for this little icon. So what we have to do is we need to come over here and we need to go to create, create shapes from vector layer. And then what we need to do is we need to open it up. We need to go to add, and then we need to go to trim paths. So if we open up trim paths, now what we need to do is we need to come over here for the end. Well, firstly, let's move to one second, set the uh, stopwatch on the end, then move back down to the beginning of the animation, press zero. And so now you will see you you will see that the rocket animates in. That's looking pretty cool. And now we'll do the same for the start. We'll click on at one second. We'll click on the start stopwatch at zero. We'll move to two seconds and then we'll put it to 100%. But we're gonna move that and we're gonna actually start that at about two seconds. So this entire animation goes for roughly about three seconds. So now if you preview that, the rocket comes in and then it goes back out. So to make the animation smoother and nicer, we need to come over here and easy ease these keyframes. And then we can also go to the graph editor and we can bring these points just a little bit closer to the middle. So it looks something like that. 
And so now if we preview that, you will see how the animation, it kind of zips in and then zips out. So that's part one. The next thing that we have to do is we need to create another new composition. So if we go over here and we go new composition, this time we want it to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. We're just going to press OK. And we're just going to drag our rocket to that composition. And so now we can see our rocket. And by the way, if you want to change your color, you can always go back to the rocket uh, comp and then change it in the fill just there. So now I've got my rocket on my new composition. The next thing that we need to do is we need to look for an effect called CC Repel Tile. So I'm just going to drag that down to my rocket composition. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some numbers in here. So I'm going to put 2000 for each one. So I'm just going to copy and paste that, put 2000, put 2000, put 2000. And you can see what's happening there. You can see all the little rockets. Now you can see that it doesn't quite fit that well there so all we need to do is we need to just come over here and just expand it a little bit and don't go too far here because you can ruin the whole thing but anyway so now we've got all of those animations going at the same time that's looking pretty cool uh, we also have a few things in here in terms of tiling like if you want to change some of the directions of some of these um, icons you can do that by pressing some of these things over here so I'm going to go with an up and down version just like that. I think that looks pretty nice. And yeah, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and make sure that we are turning this into a 3D layer. If you don't see 3D layers, you can always go and toggle switches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come and create a new camera. I'm just going to press OK. And then I'm going to press R on my camera for these settings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move some of these things around. So for example, the Y rotation, I'm going to move it so it's looking something like that. So now with the camera, I've moved the Y rotation. All we are going to do is we're going to do a simple animation on the X rotation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start it there at zero and then I'm going to go to about here and I'll go to about 20 degrees. And so now when we play that back, you can see that the animation is kind of cycling down and that's looking pretty cool. So you can play around with some of your own settings there. And if you want to change the color, you can always go back to the other composition. The final thing that we need to do is we need to come and create a new solid for our background. And so I'm just going to drag it to the end. And then all I'm going to do is look for an effect called gradient ramp. So I'm going to drag that down. Now, what I need to do is I need to go to Color Hunt to choose two colors to get my gradient background. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick these two colors. So I'm going to go with that green and that lighter green there. But I'm also going to maybe go to this yellow and then just get the code for that yellow. So I'm just going to undo that. And then what I'm going to do is go to my rocket and just make sure that I click on the fill effect and then I can put that same color in there. And then so if I go back to my main composition and if I get rid of the color palette, you can see the effect that I've gone for. So now we've got like a cool little nice moving animation that is working from patterns. The final thing that you can do is you can come over here and add uh, text if you want. So once you're happy with your font, I'm just going to align it to the center of the document and then I'm just going to bring up the scale maybe something like that and the final effect is just a drop shadow so I'm just going to grab a drop shadow and then um, I will just increase the distance and there we have a simple animation which has a really cool unique background with a you know nice you know color scheme and things like that so anyways that's about it for this lesson so anyways guys thanks for watching I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.